Hello, today we will talk about the MG300, the modeling guitar processor. This is a very tiny and a compact modeler in the market. So before you start to play it, remember to tune your guitar. Press the dual foot switch, you can enter to the tuning mode. Then, while you want to tweak the sound, I will recommend you to use the monitor to tweak the parameter. Uh, here, I already set up a preset. Then, let's check the sound, and I will demonstrate to use the different output mode to be suitable with the combo amplifier. So, let's hear the sound from the monitor. <laughs> So right now, I use the combo amplifier and uh, I will press the mode and to choose the combo front. Then, uh, if the amplifier equalizer couldn't be suitable with your sound, probably you could also use our global equalizer. So right now, for example, I use the uh, global EQ to tweak the sound and I will make it as close as my monitor sound. So let's hear about the sound. So now we will talk about the pedal calibration. If you find that your expression pedal is too easily to engage with the secondary function like wah, so how to do that? You could do the pedal calibration. So you just uh, hold the edit and the save button for a while. Then you could enter to the system menu. Second step is choose the pedal and then press the edit. Then just follow the instruction. So set up the mini var volume, maxima volume. Then save it. That's it. So right now you could check it. If you are not satisfied, you could redo it again. So that's how can you do the pedal calibration. So now we will talk how to tweak your sound page. So here is my personal uh, suggestion for you and uh, some uh, tips. So you just uh, press the edit, then you could start to choose the signal black and also tweak the parameter. So my personal suggestion for you is to think uh, the song or the guitarist sound uh, you want to uh, simulate. So for example, right now I will demonstrate uh, what I want to do is like uh, something like a rich brass. Uh, this sound. So uh, according to my research, probably I will choose something like a Friedman amplifier. So I choose the Friedman sound. <laughs> Okay, so I start to tweak it again, presents and the volume. Then uh, I will adjust the equalizer. Then I start to choose the cabinet and the microphone. So here I use the default uh, cabinet impulse response and I choose the uh, 414 microphone. So uh, after I adjust the main sound, then I will start to add uh, something more, maybe like uh, some post effect, like modulation, delay, reverse. So here is some uh, tone tips. If you choose the clean sound style amplifier, so probably you will consider to add the modulation, something like a close. So if you choose the clean amplifier, so maybe the second signal block you will add is about the modulation. And But right now, I choose the 
distortion sound. So for me, uh, probably the second signal block I will add is about the noise reduction. So. <laughs> I engage it and I also adjust the threshold and K so I could keep where I didn't play uh, any signal. So right now it keep more quiet. And the, the third thing for me, uh, probably I will add the room sound for the amplifier. So uh, for this amplifier, probably I will add a spring reverse. So I will choose the reverse style like the spring reverse and to add a little bit of room sound. So let's hear it. Sounds not bad, huh? So uh, the last part probably I will add is the delay because I want to uh, play the solo part. So for me, uh, for this song, I like the analog delay. So I will add the analog delay. And here is another tip. Uh, we offer you the tap button so you could adjust the speed time, the delay time to use the tap tempo. And uh, here is another tone tip about the delay part is I like the subdivision function. So for this song, uh, the speed is around 70 BPM. So I adjust the speed uh, 70. Then I choose the uh, quarter note. Uh, uh, sorry, the dotted eight. So that could make your delay sound sounds more musical. So let's hear it. So later I will demonstrate uh, with the backing check so we could hear about the sound. demonstrate about the drum function. Actually, it's a drum and loop. And for the MG300, uh, our first loop could follow the drum section. So you just play the drum firstly, then uh, recall the first loop, and it will quantize the first loop automatically. So let's check about that.